so for this example, I've kind of scaled back on the code that you can see in our repel, but it's important that we kind of do this, you know, advance and retreat thing um, that for whatever reason textbooks really like to do. Um, so we'll click through to this constructors um, link here. Um, and this in our main doesn't look any different than it did um, all the way back here at simple Java class demo. Um, we here have a new object of class rectangle being declared. Um, and we would here expect to be able to use its methods, get length, get width, get area. But when I run it, what you'll see is we have this error. Constructor rectangle in class rectangle cannot be applied to given types. This one, so this line. And it tells you why. Required double double. Found no arguments. Reason actual and formal argument lists differ. So here's the difference between the actual and the formal argument list. What we've actually changed here is back in rectangle.java, we have added a constructor. Now, let me tell you, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. This is how our class looked before. And if I was to run the code now, it would run fine. This, the way we see it right now, the way we had done it in our previous three examples, is what is known as a default constructor. When you do not have a constructor, um, Java will create for you one by default, hence the word default constructor, right? Um, the Java default constructor does not accept arguments, so you cannot pass to it anything. Um, the the system goes about essentially saying that, hey, look, um, if you have any numeric fields, they are set to zero. If you have a, um, a field that's a reference variable, so something like another object, think strings here, um, those are set to null. Null doesn't mean zero, it just means empty. Um, it, and that is you know, certainly one way to do it. Um, oh, there we go. Um, we here are providing what is known as a constructor. So what we are saying is um, we want to be able to immediately reference a rectangle object if, I'm going to click back here in main.java, if we do this, right? We just declare a new object of our class rectangle. It declares a variable called box that I can use and I can call it by name, but it doesn't actually create an object for it. Um, you can look on page, and I really hope I have this right for you. I think it's 348. Um, this is what is known as an un initialized reference variable. I wanted to break that up because I've screwed it up twice now. Uninitialized reference variable. So that means you can refer to box, but it's not really an object. It's got nothing there. What you have to do is actually set length and set width, and now the object can be, you know, fully realized. So here, if I have a constructor, um, and the constructor is simply public rectangle, so the name of our class, um, and then it would accept arguments. So length and width, because those are the two things we know for sure we are going to need for a rectangle. And here again are its methods, set, etc. Um, here in main, I can't just do this line number five. That's what this error is balking at me about. It's saying, look, you are required to give me two double variables or two double arguments because I need, Java as I, needs the actual and formal. So there's formal here and there's the actual variables um, to match up. So here 
I would have to give it two double values. So if I say 10 and 10, I can't type and talk at the same time. So 10 and 10, I expect this not to run. It's going to prove me wrong. Oh, there it went. Um, because of simple type promotion that ran, what I'll tell you is when I ran this in um, Eclipse, which is running back here and you can't see it. When I ran it in Eclipse, Eclipse gave me a warning telling me that these were incompatible types um, between integer and what this is expecting. Sorry, what this is expecting, which is doubles but they were clearly promoted here inside of Replit so that's great um, otherwise that's because this is going to disrupt my calm there we go um, so I'm passing my constructor the required values two double values 10 and 10 I am passing those here to my rectangle Java class here to my rectangle constructor that takes a, a double variable called len, a double variable called w, and it assigns those to length and width. Um, so that's the, the idea, here, idea here of a default constructor um, is uh, it the way we've been coding these so here and here in our previous examples and this one we did two times um, in our three previous examples we were creating an uninitialized local reference variable so we could call box by name but it wasn't really initialized um, here when we do our constructor in this way we have initialized our rectangle object we have called it box it has a name it has an actual object that can be referred to in you know in local memory etc so that's the difference between a constructor something that you do right here and a default constructor which is something that we have done previously which is almost exactly the same um, but uh, Java has to go through and create a, a temporary uninitialized local reference for this, which is not necessarily preferable because if you've you know had an opportunity um, to have Java give you an error before, um, you know that if you try to use a variable before it's initialized, you get a, an error. And that's what could happen to us here in object-oriented programming as well. Um, if here we tried to use box as an object without first initializing its length and width, we would have gotten an error during runtime, and that's not necessarily what we want. So here with our you know, tangible constructor, that receives two arguments, we are circumventing the idea of the um, uninitialized variable error.